Hey guys, we're back with more FF uh, 16. Sorry for the extra long break there. We were told it still wasn't that long. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. Oh All shit! Right. We should arrange an introduction. A high potion in the potion. Okay. So if you guys remember, Eastpool is the little town where uh, we met Lady Hannah. She's the uh, husband of the dyke, uh, the leader, the commander of the shields, uh, who died uh, when we first turned into Ifrit. She also gave us our clothes. Is he from Alaska? He moved there in college and never left. Oh, so your parents actually still live in Alaska? What is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Torgles. Rushing off. Hi, you're gonna have to sprint, dude. I don't have to... There you go. I really don't like the sprint system in this. It's super annoying. Slack off up here. This guy's catch back to oh, what what? Why is this place on fire? The fuck? What happened here? Imperials. You pay for this. Oh, we got a live one. What are you doing here? Talk to me! <laughs> Who indeed? Oh, I don't want to initiate limit. They all dead, guys. Technically, your mother doesn't live anywhere anymore. Well, I mean, true. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? <laughs> you were born a slave, and you'll die one. <laughs> oh, that is probably just probably regretting his choices right now. Kill all the ducal dogs. Ducal dogs. We're innocent people. <laughs> Hey, look, we got more. I'll pick up anything. I see you, he says, while I'm being fucking broke. <laughs> Wake. 
What is the Feast of the Hunter's Moon? That sounds like either a demonic cult or something, some really good indie shit. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. My Empress Annabella's command! That's a huge bitch. Also, Annabella, why do you think that's a bitch still? My mother ordered this. I know. I can wait. Not this time. Fuck, I was focusing on killing the dog, too. Too slow. Do something that I am not paying attention to him attacking. This time. He's barely taking it any damage. Not this time. You see, this guy doesn't have much in the way of variation for his combos. Let's see, if he doesn't die from that, I'll just, I'm just gonna wicked wheel him. FF needs a Musou game? It does! I've been saying that forever. There's so many cool characters and abilities. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. Oh, she dead. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Ah, oh, we're too late, Gav. Clive. on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. 
But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Those people all have a similar scar on their left side of their face. Man, Clive's mom sucks. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kutger's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send. <laughs> Return to the hideaway. Writing wrongs. But before we do anything in the hideaway, Sit solo then. First off, let me check the map. I don't think there's any new map. Uh, Quests available right now. No. Yes. I like it quick. What do you want? Okay, so he can't actually make anything yet. So I think we have to go see anything Sid first else? before that updates. All right. What we are gonna do is though is we're gonna check the already stone because um, like I said, there's uh, the ability to change what your weapons and armor look like, and I'm pretty certain. And pick a few things. Use the appearance option at the ready sudden to change the outward appearance of Clive or his party members. The appearance of Clive's weapon can also be changed to that of any uh, previously obtained weapon while maintaining the current weapon stats. Yeah. So for Clive, if we put him, uh, we can change him to burnt black and normal. Okay, so I think there's a way to get it so that you can wear his outfit from the beginning of the game as well, but I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll let him wear that for a bit. We'll let Jill wear will will wear Snow White, which is cool. I wish I had have added more costumes into the game though. Icy blue. Oh, you look cool, Togel. I like you as icy blue. And then you can like modify your weapon to look like any of these. Be cool. And now we have the burnt black look. We'll use this for today, and then we'll swap around between them as. Don't mind He's me. Just taking a quick breather, I? I'm actually a little surprised they didn't sell any costumes. Keep running. Or we can walk through this door. I'm glad they didn't. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. Take it? But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. 
I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Ah, oh, shit, son. Earlier. Oraflam, the Holy Empire of Sembrek. Council of Elders. White Worm Lair. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we would be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but brawl and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? That means bring it straight your minds to riddles such as these. You lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of Great Grieger. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Delmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. <laughs> I love that this man just calls for war and he's like, alright, see you guys, have fun. Figure that out. Let's 
Council of Health. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I also like how he's like, oh, this is the great holy Grieger, great Grieger's will. Grieger being their god, I guess, if they pray to and whatnot. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all gone? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are told that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? says they didn't. Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to who, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. I was kind of hoping Gav would also stab the crystal just, just for fun. I want in on that. And Jill's like, yeah, let's do it. You hush, mini cat. What have I got myself into? Okay, so we got a side quest there. We got some new stuff. Okay. I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Let's go see the blacksmith first. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick breather, and I. I guess I don't know. Fucking NPC. Make it quick. All right, what do you got, black so tongue? Dear. Okay, so we can make the flame tongue. It is better than what we have. With tongue of flame, spay he the words of destruction. And we need a fire shard. A, we need storm cry, which is Garuda's weapon. Interestingly enough. 
and it's a meteorite. And it's 15 attack power better than what we have. It lost you a good while. Okay, nothing new there and nothing new there, but we might be able to reinforce some stuff. We can't get any new, like, armor, it looks like. And? And here's our new sword, guys. Let's go look at it. Stand in the light to give you guys a better look at it. That's a pretty slick looking sword, I do say so myself. I like the black and red. Hey, what are you doing? Glenn. You lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. Well, that kind of sucks. If you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. Well, Sid's sure gonna have doesn't. to be kept waiting because we gotta go. Get, we gotta go there to get it. Red letter day. Okay. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Yeah, we're gonna go pick up this other quest first, though. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. All right, let's get a quest. What does he want? Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bearer on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then, might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? No. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Thank you again. The needs of the many. Okay, so we're going to do these side quests here. Um, but... We gotta take a quick break first, and then we're gonna go over here to Galton Bales and or Oral Bell Downs, because that's where the Galton Bales are. And then we will continue on and do this side quest and then come back and do the main. Don't go anywhere, we got more FF16 for you. <laughs> 